Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurion's Review. Today I'm going to talk about the bare bones basics of dice probabilities. Knowing how to calculate the probability will help you with game design and make you a better player. This will be a very short video as I believe in getting right to the point and not wasting your time. If you have a single d6 dice, the probability of getting a specific number is 1 out of 6 because there is only one way to roll each number. The following equation is used for probability. Probability equals the number of times a number can occur divided by the total number of possible results. For our single d6 example, the probability of rolling a 5 using this formula is 1 out of 6, which is a 16.7% chance. For two or more d6 dice, the same equation is used, but the results may surprise you. Keep in mind that there is exactly 36 different ways that two d6 dice can be rolled. Let's take a look at some examples. Most people think the possibility of rolling snake eyes on two d6 dice is either 1 out of 11 or 1 out of 12. That's incorrect. The probability of rolling snake eyes on two d6 dice is 1 out of 36, which is a 2.8% chance. This is because there is only one way you can roll snake eyes, and the total possible results for the two d6 dice is 36. Likewise, the possibility of rolling two sixes called box cars is one out of 36 also because there's only one way you can roll box cars. Here's a more complicated example. Let's calculate the possibility of rolling a sum of five on two d6 dice. That's where you add the, the two dice together to get five. First, you have to calculate the number of ways the sum of the two dice can equal 5. Here's the possibilities. You can either get a 1 and a 4, a 4 and a 1, a 2 and a 3, or a 3 and a 2. With our formula, that's 4 out of 36, which is 1 ninth, uh, which is a 11.1% chance. There you have it. I told you this video would be short. I hope this helps you with game design or gaming in general. Have a good evening.